Okay, today we're here to show you how to do a core drill installation method for the Easy Rail. And the first thing I wanted to explain is the tools involved. We have a professional tool that we normally would use, but since you, a homeowner, wouldn't have easy access to that kind of tool, we got one that is available at from a local Home Depot. It's a large hammer drill, and it, it, it accepts bits like this. And this is a core drilling bit, and it's got a center guide where you get started. You cut, you start cutting your hole about a quarter inch, then you stop and you take this bit out and you finish cutting your hole. The core drill method is the best looking, most professional finish of the methods that we have, and it is a, a bit stronger too. Now, the first thing I've done is to take a piece of chalk and I've come over to my steps. If you're new to measuring, we measure from the nosing of this bottom step to the nosing of this top step, which is 55 inches. And then when you place your order, you're going to order a railing that is a 55 inch nose to nose. And so from one post to the other post, it's going to equal what your nose to nose measurement was. So I've come over to the steps. And I measure back four inches here. And then you can come two or three inches from the side. I'm coming four today because there's an overhang up at the top that I want to avoid. And I got plenty of room here anyway. Okay, then at the top, I make sure this is in the hammer position. I'm lining up my guide bit with the hash marks that I made. Now, to remove the inner bit, I just move this rubber holder. There's a holder pin, and the bit comes right out. Okay, now I'm going to go about drilling my holes out completely. That you do use this in the hammer mode, otherwise the bit gets hot. Okay, we achieved the minimum depth that I would recommend, which is four inches. Now for the post. And here's what we're going to do. Right now I'm setting it in upside down because I'm going to measure up and I'm going to mark the post where I want to make my cut. All I'm doing is I'm measuring up two foot ten and a half inches. That's really where I want to make my cut. Okay, now I'm just going to attach the post. Just use a little Allen key here, and uh, it's a 3 sixteenths. Okay, now that I have those loosely in place, we'll place those in our holes. The objective is going to be to plumb this up and mix the concrete and pour it in so that it sets real nice. Then we'll use boards and clamps to do this direction. So we want to check it this direction, and that's when we'll tighten our screws. Put in about as much as I think we need, and then I like to use the sponge and just put a little bit of water in at a time until I like the consistency. It's a little less than peanut butter consistency is where I like it for, for railing. And I've cleaned that hole out pretty good with the shop bag since this is a drill that doesn't use a water for cooling. It was pretty dusty. I'm going to push it down a little bit with the sponge. And just a little tip that I like to give. I like to mound it up just a little bit around the post. Okay, because it's a little chilly today, it's about 40 degrees and maybe a little less, um, I just have a little piece of metal here from an old piece of ductwork and I'm putting it around the post and I'm closing it a little bit and I'm putting a hair dryer up at the top. And I'm, I'm going to run that for about 15 minutes to really get it to set up well before we take all the clamps off. 
Okay, everything came out really nice. I'm really happy with the way this all turned out and I hope this video will give you the confidence to try the same installation method.